this conference is particularly exciting. It brings together academics, practitioners, consultants, uh, all talking the, the same language and sharing ideas, uh, I think is, is what's unique about this conference. BX 2018 has been uh, very interesting to me. It's been a huge event uh, with amazing speakers from all around the world. One of the things I love most about BX is it always reminds me of the tremendous opportunity that we have to do good in the world by sharing behavioral insights as broadly as we can to help people think about how they tackle really difficult, complex, wicked public challenges through a different lens. And it also reminds me of the really important responsibility that we have to start to share that um, with as many people as we can in as many different contexts. At the end of last year, I put out a challenge to the APS. And I said, think of your big idea, because after all, as policymakers, your stock and trade is ideas. I think what's awed me is you've got these speakers like John List, who you know, worked in the White House and authored these huge papers. And it's obviously a brilliant kind of intellectual um, but they're also able to communicate in a really accessible way. I think it's fair to say that experiments have become a legitimate contributor to science. But it's also fair to say we will never realize the full benefits of experimentation until we get the science of using science right. The must takeaway, uh, I think, has to do with the future of the field and thinking through what's a good roadmap as we start moving away from choice architecture to bigger and brighter policy implications of the behavioral sciences. What's the next big thing in BI? That's not for me to say. <laughs> yeah, it'd have to be how do we use artificial intelligence? How do we use big data to uh, complement this sort of thinking? Um, a willingness of governments to begin to properly measure um, the things that they do. I come from the world of finance, and there's been a lot of work that's been done on financial decision making, um, and particularly with savings programs and things like that. I think there's a lot of opportunity out there for how we help people save, particularly in low income uh, environments, and not just from a optimization of existing program perspective. It's more about how do we design things to help people save better, to help them be able to have different choices in their lives. I think the next big thing in BI is getting greater collaboration between the behavioral economics thinkers at universities and public policy institutions. I think it is probably how we go from pilot to scale and whether we're ready for that in terms of the risks and the opportunities that presents. We've learned a lot about interventions that work in a small scale. But now the new frontier is when we scale that, will we have the same benefit cost ratio that we have in the smaller environment? And that's largely unknown. That's something I call the science of using science. And I think that's the next frontier in changing the world. I think anytime you try and shake up the way that people traditionally think about policy issues, you're always going to get a bit of pushback. Uh, because a lot of these things are fundamentally, fundamentally questioning the way we think about things. I think it's a bit of a tsunami to be honest. There's more and more, it's an exponential growth I would say in, in behavioural insights, it absolutely is and it's really exciting to be part of it even in an informal way. Look, I do think um, uh, measuring the outcomes of policies does take some courage because it's hard in a political environment to admit that what you do, what you do doesn't work, that's hard for governments. Um, and yet I think there's so much public good to be had from it um, that it's worthwhile making the investments. Where we want to be going with this is to keep pushing research, research, research. And I think going forward, the magic potion here is the interaction between policymakers and academics. And if we keep that, then we can change the world through this conference. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.